Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So we've been done with harvest for a while now. However, we've been getting just enough rain to keep us out of the field. So we finally think that we've been having good enough weather so to where we can get out and start doing some tillage. Um, so Travis hooked the 8235R up to the Earthmaster 3000 VT. And uh, he headed out to try it to see if we can get some tillage done. Um, what he's doing right now is going to be all the corn on corn stalks. So everything down at his place that's going back into corn, he needs to hit with the VT because we're going to be following through with the 4640 and our chisel plow. Uh, we do have the land saver, uh, but that's going to be going on the 8235R and it's probably going to be used on a lot of the bean ground. So what the 46 will be focused on hitting all the stalks down here. Um, all the corn on corn while we use the land saver on the 82 once Travis is done VTing. And since we really don't have that much to VT, I figured this is my one and only chance this fall to get down here and get any footage of it running. And I do have some good news on the VT. So when that first showed up on the farm, that was a sponsorship. And I do try to make it a point to buy as much as we can. Um, you know, we do a lot of these sponsorships and stuff. A lot of it does go back. A lot of them do go back. Um, However, the things that become really important to us, that we integrate into our operation, um, they become really just a staple of everything that we do, you know, I want to keep. So they approached me and asked if I was interested in buying the VT, and I told them what I could afford. Um, I shot, shot them an offer, and after a couple weeks, I didn't hear anything back, and then they finally said that they accepted the offer, and I just paid it off. So the VT is officially ours. It's not going anywhere uh, for the foreseeable future. And I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit because I'm proud of it. Um, and I try to buy things that we use a lot. I mean, I would really love to keep, I, I don't think that the mower, uh, the Rhino 4155 is going anywhere either <laughs> in the short term. Um, I really see us buying that as well. Um, and possibly a couple of other things, depending on who's interested in buying it and what our financial position is at the time. So um, that's kind of the big news for this video. The VT is no longer um, a sponsorship and it's officially mine. So what do you say we head out and try to find Travis? Um, he's trying to hit the stocks out here, doing one pass on him, possibly two. I guess I never really asked him. Um, one should really do it because he's all he's trying to do is break up the stocks, which the VT is really good for. So we gotta go through the gates, go past the cows to try to find him. I think he's out in the 40, but let's go out and see. Hey, how you doing? How are... <gasps> Look at the little Oreo calf, he's so cute. He's got a full belt on him. Now, if only the Bolingos didn't grow up to be psycho, because they actually have really cute calves, but we were kind of trying to move away from them. But some people asked whatever happened to our Bolingo cattle. We still got a couple of them. There he is. Now, the purpose of the VT is more to break up the material on the surface. It's not meant to throw a lot of dirt, but we typically use it in the fall to break up our corn stalks, uh, kind of mix up the dirt a little bit, start the degrade degradation process of the corn stalks. And then in the spring, we'll use it for seed bed prep because with the rolling baskets on the back, it makes just an absolutely beautiful seed bed. Um, it actually broke down this spring and we had to use the John Deere disc that Travis had and Travis wasn't too pleased with the job that that did, considering the VT has had a spoiled. So we got the VT back up and running. I want to say it was the single point depth control that we had trouble with. Um, I think it got hit by something and the metal plate was kind of off center a little bit and the pin wasn't pushing straight onto the plate and it broke off. So we straightened it back out and everything's good to go.
pretty much it for this video. I did lose my camera when it was hooked to the VT, but I did manage to find it. It's not quite optimal to have the cows out in the field when you're trying to do your chiseling because there's no compaction quite like a 1200 pound hoof um, out there stepping on your freshly tilled dirt. <laughs> but we need to get the anhydrous put down, so it need, everything needs to get chiseled before the smoke gets put down. So um, we need to get everything done while the weather's still cooperative. Now, for those of you who have made it to this point in the video, I want to give my thanks to you guys by giving a 15% discount on our store. Um, Christmas is right around the corner, so I highly encourage you guys to put in your orders right now. Um, that way, if I need to order more clothes, I can, and I always need to. So the sooner you guys order your stuff, and uh, the sooner I can spin around and put in a new clothing order to get more orders out before Christmas. If you're worried about your order not coming in before Christmas, I put an area on my website that you guys can check into that tells you when you should expect your order. Right now, um, all orders are going to be delivered by Christmas, and I don't expect that to change unless there's a huge influx of orders, which this might cause a huge influx of orders, so get your orders in. So the code for 15% off on our store is good until December 1st, and that is FALL2020, all caps. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.